style what's good youtube welcome back to grim today we're meeting with a dude that is just doing everything in his power to lie cheat and steal his way into having this image be that of an insanely rich person and that could not be further from the truth all right this is a broke boy in every form of the word and you're about to see why without further ado let's just see what he's that's right he's addicted to the quote bad and bougie lifestyle no he doesn't want to be in the migos he actually instead just wants to be like the girls that the migos date so basically that means he wants to live beyond his means and spend money on dumb stuff that he doesn't really need so that he can portray this image of him being rich and successful without having to do any of the work to back that up and make it a reality as long as you looked apart that's what counts right according to him that's all that counts at least you now let's put the wardrobe together whether it be like sunglasses a hat the right jacket just you know make sure everything's well put together by the time I'm walking out the door yep so we have an absolute fashionista right here this dude has to just make sure that his drip is correct before he steps out the door you know I can appreciate that I kind of do the same thing but you know you really got to compliment this amazing array of terrible piercings going on right now and that god-awful face tattoo and the same haircut that I tried to pull off in 2015 with no success look dude if you're gonna have hair that long just keep it all long all right we don't need to shave the sides it just looks weird at that point it's like an island of long hair no one likes that nothing about Alex's lifestyle is glamorous this is part of my weekly routine you know just keeping up on the eyebrow wait weekly routine how does this dude afford to get his eyebrows done every single week? Isn't that like super expensive? I mean, I've never had it done myself, but I'm guessing it's like over $100 easily. I can see he's been hitting the spray tan booth as well, or maybe he just wears that makeup that is like way darker than his actual skin. But all that I know is he's doing the most to no avail. It's really just not looking good, my dude. I think you should switch the look up if you're trying to be quote bad and bougie, because this is just plain bad. You're kind of forgetting the bougie part, all right? Alex has been caught shoplifting three to four times. He just has a problem problem with taking things that do not belong to him. Whether it's my things, things from a store, it does not matter to him. Okay, so he's a loser as well. Shocker there, I know. I, I really didn't expect him to have some loose morals, but apparently he does. You know, this dude has no problem just straight up stealing from his mom or from a store to get something that he wants. Like, screw paying for the item, bro. You can just snap a pic of your mom's debit card and put that to use whenever you want something. Look, we all know that's what moms are for, guys. It's just a bottomless pit of free money whenever you want things. It's not like we have to be nice to them and not steal from them, you know? What would that make me, a good child? <laughs> no, thank you. I just like biting the hand that feeds me, okay? Alex Alex has a closet of designer bags and clothes. He will post on Instagram that these are his things, but some of it is mine. Wow, and now he's flexing his mom's designer stuff as well. Like she probably already couldn't afford that and then he had to go out and flex it for her. I mean, this obsession with name brand is just kind of crazy. And like, of course, I'm a young person, so I play into it too. But people don't care what looks good anymore. As long as it has a recognizable brand image or logo on it, that's all you need, apparently. I mean, dude, St. Laurent sold condoms this year that were like $20 a pop. And people bought that up like crazy. They sold out almost instantly. I guess it's cool to have as like a meme thing because we all know anyone who's dropping $20 on a single condom isn't ever going to have the opportunity to use it. So, I mean, it's more of a novelty purchase at that point anyways. There have been at least two times that I couldn't afford diapers or formula for my infant son. So this dude is basically stealing from his nephew at this point, who is an infant, just to buy stupid clothes and face treatments that aren't going to make him look better or even scratch the surface on chipping away this terrible attitude and personality, which is going to be the main thing that people see when they meet him. They're not going to see the clothes. They're just going to see his obnoxious demeanor and be like, OK, I, that's not someone I need to spend my time being around. But I guess in his eyes, looking and feeling bad and bougie is worth more than being a good family member and allowing his sister to have enough money to feed and properly clothe her own baby. You know, that's a difficult toss-up right there like do you not be a terrible piece of trash human or be a good human and allow your nephew to have food in his table like you kind of might as well flip a coin at that point they're both such viable options i can tell why this dude's having such a tough time with it you allowed him to steal from you to the point that you lost your home he, yes he stole from me to the point that I did lose my home. All right, that's a little far. Like, like, how do you not just cut the kid off from your life before that happens? You seriously are just gonna sit there and allow your kid to repeatedly steal from you to the point where you have to just foreclose on your own home as a grown adult and move in with your dad? Send this kid to the ranch already and the mom too for allowing this to go on for that long. Like you cannot be giving up your entire house and living situation all because you raised an absolute moron thief that just steals anything he can get his hands on. Like call up the cops, dial 911 and get the police involved. Even though he's your son, that 
that sounds like a felonious amount of theft going on, if that's even a word. And I mean, he could easily just get locked up again like he was when he got caught shoplifting earlier this year. Why is she not holding him accountable? Because it's her son. That's it. Like, like she said, we had a hard childhood and that's the excuse, so always. You're, so you're parenting from guilt. This is the insane part to me, man. I mean, this mom has been going through this for so, so long, and her perspective on life and parenting in general has just been so warped by being around this cesspool of a son that she is now defending his actions and explaining on TV to Dr. Phil why he has done the things he's done and justifying it. So instead of fighting for herself and standing up for herself, she not only admitted defeat, but joined the bad guys team. Like, you can't switch up like that. Be a real adult and stand up for yourself when you deserve it, please. You cannot be allowing your son to just straight up destroy your life like this. I do go shopping on my own, but like I said, if I could spend my mom's money before my money, then I will. All right, this is actually a four-year-old child living in a 26-year-old's body. How are you halfway to 50 years old, over halfway, and you're still not self-aware enough to realize how stupid you sound? Like seriously, if I could spend mommy's money before my own, I will. Like who in their right mind says that? He talks like he's a trust fund kid, but look, it's not like your mom's rich either. This kid needs to stop this immediately or else his mom's just gonna go bankrupt and life will slap him in the face real quick after that once his money flow is cut off. And what's your goal here? The goal here, um, definitely make amends, but I mean get my family off my back, um, have them continue to give me money, just continue to live that bad and bougie lifestyle. Basically, Dr. Phil, I want my dumb family to shut up and stop complaining when I steal money from them. And yes, I do expect them to still give me money or allow me to steal from them once this show is done and we fly back home. Like, I'm not gonna give up this bad and bougie lifestyle, all right? So I just want them to accept that, take the L, and not complain when I steal thousands from them because if I'm near them, I will steal from them. That's just a fact. It's a part of this lifestyle that I'm used to, and if they love me, they will let me steal from them and not complain. Yeah. You're aware she says that she's had to move because you stole so much money that she could no longer sustain living situation, right? She has money she can rely on. She's not gonna end up homeless. Boo-hoo, mom. So what? I mean, I steal $25,000 from you and suddenly you have to move in with grandpa? Oh, you're such a special snowflake, mom. It's not like you're gonna end up homeless anyways. I know you have retirement money saved up. Just use that if you really need it. It's really not my problem, look, all right? Ugh, side note, enough joking about how this dude talks. This dude has the most annoying facial expressions of all time. Like seriously, he's trying to look all sassy and be quote, bad and bougie, which is the exact lifestyle term he uses repeatedly. But to me, it's just annoying. Like I've never seen someone with so little going for them and they just think the world of themselves. This dude seriously thinks he's just gonna get famous from his subpar twerking videos. Like this dude isn't even in shape really, so he's kind of bad at it, twerking. And he even did it on Dr. Phil's stage when he first came out. And oh, it was it, it was atrocious. That's the only way I can explain it. This is not what the Migos were talking about in that song, dude. This is the opposite of bad and bougie. Hey, you guys made it pretty far into this video. So real quick, I'm gonna ask you to drop a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell in the next five seconds. And if you can do all of that quick enough, you will earn your very own amazing shopping spree. Side note though, I got the card info that you're gonna be using from this guy, and I think it's his mom's credit card. So if you actually buy anything, you're kind of a terrible person, but that's on you, I guess. Anyways, on with the rest of the video. So that means you, you, can, you control the faucet here. And He's the faucet is about to get turned totally off so there is nothing coming out. No, it's not. No, it's not. Let's see if the mom actually follows up on that because she can talk all the talk she wants, but she was legit just on stage before he came on here defending this moron like, oh, it's just the way he is. I, he doesn't know any better. He had a hard childhood, so I feel bad trying to stop him from robbing me blind every single time he has the chance. You know, I keep giving him more chances, but I know eventually he will be able to distinguish right from wrong. So like, yeah, I truly hope that she is able to stop giving giving him all these chances because this has gone on for just too long, okay? Something needs to change for the both of them or either of them will end up homeless because of this reckless theft and spending habits that this kid has. Actually, I need to stop saying kid, he's 26 years old. This guy should know better. So the show ends with Dr. Phil giving this dude a chance to be honest and apologize for how he's been acting and for his behavior and attitude about his family overall, and he doesn't. So he finishes out by creating a list of all the felonies and misdemeanors that this dude has admitted to on live television. And yeah, that's a big yikes for me. And the whole time, the dude doesn't 
didn't even care even though Dr. Phil is breaking down just how much the fines and jail time could be that he's facing if his mom wanted to press charges. I doubt she is going to, but I mean, how are you faced with this information and just not phased at all like this guy was? And he is possibly the dumbest criminal that we have met on Dr. Phil's show. I really do hope, however, that he is able to get some counseling or therapy because he's just a shell of a human at this point. Like that dude just does not have any real emotions, nor is he capable of them. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, peace out.